Thousands of people visited Walker for the celebration of one ugly fish. Shane Lee takes us to the Ice of Leech Lake for the 33rd annual Eel Paw Festival. According to the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, there are 158 species of fish in the land of 10,000 lakes, but only the eel pout draws 10,000 people to Walker for a celebration. The eel pout is a very misunderstood fish that has zero respect in the fishing community, and there's no better reason to get together in the winter. Eel pout live in many of the deep lakes of northern Minnesota and are the only fish in the state that spawn in the winter, right below the eel pout festival and they're moving up and they're just real hungry because they're preparing for that process. In the winter they're moving shallower, which will make them more susceptible to catching. Contestants who had their fish measured had to do the eel pouch shuffle and bang the gong. What does it feel like to catch a fish worthy of its own dance? Well, like you're pulling up a log pretty much. Like you're pulling up something from the bottom of the lake. No real fight to it. The eel pout may not be a fighter, but it can be a racer. The fish with the most spunk get to enter the eel pout derby. It was just kind of squirming around in the bucket, and you could tell it was ready to roll, ready to race. The races are a one on one, 12 feet long drag race. Contestants may tickle, splash, and encourage their eel pout in whatever way they see fit. I coaxed it, I just call it honey, tickled it a little bit. <laughs> The loser of every race must kiss their eel pout. The top three finishers received prizes for their eel pout's efforts. It's like winning the Stanley Cup, the Super Bowl, the NBA championship, and then catching a crappie. The eel pout festival is not all about the unfortunate looking fish. Right behind me we have a life-size version of Monopoly on Ice. The game included giant versions of the traditional pieces like the hat, the shoe, and the thimble. The chance cards required contestants to play minute to win it games. We've raised $700, plus we had a lot of sponsors that bought properties. Total, we probably got a couple, three, four thousand. Whether people came for the fishing, the racing, Monopoly, or dog sledding, visitors were sure to find something interesting at the Eel Pout Festival. Hello. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.